mid-latitude cyclones. Uh, this is the synoptic or plane view of the mid-latitude cyclone. Or the synoptic or plane view of the mid-latitude cyclone. And this here is the satellite image of the mid-latitude cyclone, the satellite image of the mid-latitude cyclone. We've got the coral front here with the cumulonimbus clouds. We've got the warm front here with the nimbostratus, uh, the cirrostratus, the autostratus, and the cirrus clouds. Now, as you can see, if I was to be asked why the mid-latitude cyclone is now impacting South Africa, which then would mean this is in winter. I would then say it is because the ITCZ has shifted northwards uh, because it is summer in the Northern Hemisphere. By so doing, the subpolar low pressure belts also followed the ITCZ moving northwards and consequently the mid-latitude cyclone formed closer to South Africa and was able to affect South Africa. If I'm asked why it is only the cold front that affects South Africa, only the cold front affecting South Africa, then I would say uh, it is because the cold front stretches northwards on its steep gradient and as a result it reaches South Africa, whereas the warm front uh, stretches eastward as I see it here. If the warm front was already bending towards the south, then I would say it stretches southwards away from South Africa. If it is bending eastwards, then I would say because it is stretching eastwards on its gentle gradient as a result it may not be able to affect South Africa. Now if I'm given four marks for this question where they are asking why it is only the cold front that affects South Africa then I would say because the cold front stretches northwards on its uh, steep gradient while the warm front stretches eastwards on its gentle gradient or i would say it bends away from south africa on its gentle gradient then i would have two marks for each of the answers if i was asked why the mid-latitude cyclone is does not affect south africa in in summer then I would say because the ITCZ have, would have shifted towards the south. By doing that, it makes the pressure belts to also shift southwards. And the subpolar low pressure belt, which is found at 60 where the mid latitude cyclone forms, would also shift southwards and further away from South Africa. And because of that, the mid-latitude cyclone forms far away from South Africa.